Um, hi. Hi. So, as you can see, um, I'm very proud of my two sisters, especially everything that Annie just um, put out there in front of all of you and in front of all of you, and I'm sure it's going to be on the news as well. By the time I came along, I'm the youngest one in the family, um, Sacred Heart School had closed. So I felt lucky not to have to go there. But I did go to church and catechism every Sunday. <clears throat> My parents believed that Monsignor DeAngelis was a step closer to God than most priests. He was a big deal in our Catholic family. And it makes me really mad every time I drive through West Warwick and I see his name so proud, proudly displayed on the side of an assisted living community. Monsignor DeAngelis Manor. I don't know if you guys have ever seen that. My family life was shaken to the core by this man. His abuse of power towards my sister Annie was devastating. My parents, who are not here, who would be sitting with us tonight, reacted first with disbelief, then with sadness, then guilt, and then anger. They got no response from the Catholic Church that they went to religiously, gave tons of money to, and also it was their faith. You know, they were very dedicated to going to church. Their faith was completely shaken. We all asked ourselves, how do we not know, right? I'm not necessarily a political person. I can't understand why on earth this bill did not go through not last year. To me, it's a no-brainer. But as human beings, I feel like we're put on this earth to connect, love, care for, and protect other human beings. And if we don't extend the statute of limitations, we are no better than the priests in the Catholic Church who move the pedophile priests from parish to parish. We're putting our heads in the sand. I would ask the legislature on behalf of my family and every other family who has been victimized in the past to pass this bill.